Julia. Hello, Aunt Valia. <laughs> Hello, I'm so glad to see you. Come in, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Take your coat off. <laughs> oh. I had a hard time looking for your building. Well, I did offer to fetch you. <laughs> but I didn't want to bother you so early in the morning. You own this apartment? Oh dear, no. I only rent it from an old lady. The poor thing had a stroke. She can't talk and walk anymore. Oh. How much do you pay for this? Actually, nothing. I take care of her. I feed her. I clean the apartment. Do the shopping and go to the pharmacy for her. And you still have time for work? How do you manage to do it all? Moscow doesn't like lazy people. You have to spin around like a top here. <sighs> you know what? I almost didn't recognize you. I can't believe it. Look at you. You're a grown-up woman now. Sonia, are you afraid of the dark? Are you afraid of dragons? Sonia, why aren't you talking? Doctor, she's shy. She has a problem with her diction. All right, Sonia. Do you have a tongue? Can you show it to me? Oh, what a beautiful tongue you have. Well, since you have a tongue, I guess you can speak, right? Repeat after me. The sheriff in the saloon should shoot slowly. The sheriff in the saloon suit suit slowly. Very good. That sounded great, Sonia. Soon you'll be speaking much better than me and your mom. Just don't be afraid of anyone or anything. All right? Hello, Lena. I'm sorry, but I can't talk long. I'm swamped with work. The forum's coming up soon and nothing's ready yet. Can you believe that? Anyway, have you called her? I have. But what's the use? She said she doesn't want to celebrate, she doesn't want to see anyone. Actually, I understand your mom. If I was in her place, I wouldn't want to have any fun either. I can't live with my stepmother anymore. I can't stand her. All I get from her is abuse all day. What about your father? He never listens to anyone but her. She tells him all these lies so he would yell at me. Oh, my brother. He used to be such a nice man. He and your mother had a wonderful marriage. I wanted to have a beautiful gravestone erected for mother. But his wife said it was too expensive, talked him out of it. But she bought herself a new cell phone. What a bitch. She was lucky I wasn't there. I would have slapped her. Why aren't you eating? I already had some, Aunt Valia. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know what I would have done without you. I'm so grateful you took me in. Anyway, I heard the hospital wasn't doing well after I left. They say they're going to close it. Well, that's not your problem anymore. Moscow is big. I'm sure you'll eventually get a job. I've already called all the people I know. Thank you, Aunt Valia. Thank you so much. I'm not afraid of hard work. I know, dear. It runs in our family. We all work hard. Oh, let me do the dishes, Aunt Valia. Just relax, dear. Get some rest.
Valia, I'm washing the floor. What interview? You mean you found me a job? Sure, I'll get all my documents. Uh, I'll do everything. Uh-huh. Yes! I hope this works out. What a beautiful building. It's like something out of a fairy tale. I wish I could live in a place like this. Then I guess you would have to work hard if you want to have something like this. Oh, this must be our client. Smile, dear. Hi, are you Valentina? Yes, you must be Pavel. Yes, nice to meet you. And this young lady must be Yulia. Nice to meet you. The pleasure's mine. My mother can't walk well. But the doctors are giving us hope. They say she might be able to run again with the proper treatment. God willing, sir. Well, the best option for that would be a live-in nurse to look after her. After all, you need to ensure around-the-clock care for your mother. You're right. Social services told me the same thing. Now, Yulia here is exactly who you need, sir. She happens to be a trained nurse and very efficient. I've got my diploma here. I can show it to you, sir. No, no need for that. Don't worry, sir. I can vouch for her. We still have to see if Mother likes her. She's already sent three nurses away. So, shall we? All right, good luck, Yuya. Goodbye. Mom, how are you feeling? I'm all right. The nurse is here. You've brought a new one again? God, where do you find these girls? Where is this one from? She's from Kursk, Mom. She trained in Feldshire. Yulia, come here. <laughs> Help me up. Okay, thank you. There you go. I'm so tired of lying down all day. My back hurts. It feels like it's going to fall off. Don't worry. I'll give you a massage so you'll feel better. And I'll make you herbal drinks. You take many pills, but you can't recover with them alone. You're right. What's your name? Yulia. Mm. I'm Ala Nikolaevna. Sit down, sit down. Don't be shy. <laughs> Anyway, you were right about me taking all these pills. Look, so many, and I take them all, but they don't seem to work. You could be taking the wrong ones. Oh? Perhaps you should consult a doctor. Ugh, where can you find a good doctor around here? Tell me. Everyone is so rude, so ignorant. A doctor came over from the polyclinic yesterday and walked straight into the living room with his boots on. I couldn't believe it. I said, perhaps you'd feel more comfortable with shoe covers, and he answered, What for? I'm fine like this. Oh, it's just terrible. Or am I wrong? No, no, you're right, of course. Doctors used to be completely different. Oh, that is so true, Yulia. What doctors they were. Very professional, I remember. Oh, Lord, those gentlemen were pure gold, real pure gold. They weren't just doctors. I'll be bringing the groceries and all the other supplies myself. If you need something urgently, you'll have to go to the shop on your own. I will leave you some money. 
Okay, I'll make sure to keep all the receipts. All right, but that's not necessary. Anyway, thank you for helping me with my things, sir. I'm not used to living in Moscow. It's nothing, Yulia. And just call me Pavel. If you say so. Then it's a deal. Yeah. Congratulations on your first day of work. Thank you. Yulia? Yes? Put the jewelry box back in its place, please. Where? In the living room on the table. Mm-hmm. Open it. Have a look. Mm. Well, dear, do you like it? Very much. Yes. My husband brought it back to me from China. Oh, Yulia, he was so kind. If you only knew how much I miss him. Is this him in the photo? Yes. What did he do back then? He was a deputy minister. A deputy minister? Yes. You were so lucky to have such a husband. How come? After all, my father was a general. And I believe that husband and wife should come from the same social circle. Well, I'm hungry. So what's for lunch today? We have chicken soup just like you ordered, and I've already prepared it. Oh. Sorry, but I changed my mind. I don't want soup anymore. But I wouldn't say no to your glorious cottage cheese pancakes. You make them so well, dear. But we're out of flour. Oh, that's a shame. No problem. <laughs> I can still run to the store. Get us some flour, so I can make your pancakes for you. <laughs> Lena could learn a thing or two from you, Yulia. She argues with me even with the most trivial matters. But does she get along with Pavel? They get along. Very well. It's a pity they don't have kids, though. You know, I would love to have some grandchildren to look after. Oh, but you'll have time for that. After all, you're not that old. <laughs> oh. Oh. Enough of that. <laughs> not that old. We've tried everything. My husband and I have been through several tests. Is IVF the only choice we have left? Who advised you to try IVF? The doctor at the clinic. You know, that method, IVF, means in vitro fertilization. It's complicated. It's a very serious procedure, and your body will have to endure a lot of stress because of multiple medications. And you and your husband need to get several tests done even before you undergo the procedure. If you ask me, it's still too early for you to consider IVF. Get a comprehensive examination first, and when you get the analysis, come see me at once. I'll take a look at it, and we'll come to a conclusion then. All right. Thank you, Professor. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Do you need a ride? No, I'm fine. Thank you. All right. I wish you all the best. Thanks. Goodbye. Good. That's very good. Okay, you can do it. There. Take another step. All right? Now walk on your own. No, I'm afraid to walk alone. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm here. Please hold me. Oh. See? You're doing great. <laughs> I told you you could do it. All right. Be careful. Mm -hmm. Wait. Who could that be? Must be the electrician from the uh. housing office. I called him to fix a socket in my room. It's sparking. I'm worried it might cause a fire. Okay. All right. I finally made it to Good. the couch. <laughs> Just a little more. Uh, oh. oh. Okay, well. there you go. Okay, you Thank rest. Thank you, dear. <sighs> I'll just get the door. Hi there. I'm the electrician. Oh, by the way, tell him to put on slippers before he enters the house. All right. You can come in now. Your grandma? <laughs> How I wish. I'm her stay-in nurse. That's what I thought. You're not from around here? Mm-mm. Been here long? No, not long. Let's go out someday. I'll show you Moscow. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. I have to stay with Grandma. You don't stay with her forever. <laughs> Let's go. I'll show you the socket. Don't you have any days off? 
I do once a week, but Madame Allah wouldn't like if I'm out for the whole day. Not for the whole day? Don't pamper her too much. I know these old ladies. They hang around your neck with their legs down. You can't get rid of them. <laughs> Let's get acquainted, shall we? I'm Taras. Yulia. Congratulations, Lena. From what I see, you're perfectly healthy. No pathologies. The samples are fine. What's the matter, then? Nothing. It's just that some couples manage it right away, while others have to wait a bit to have children. Be patient. Don't worry too much about it. I'll prescribe you some good pills. They will help you. Thank you. I've almost given up. <laughs> it's all right. Come back in a month. I'm sure you'll see good results. Thank you, doctor. Have you heard about this new medicine, Pavel? It's as your legs will thank you for this. I should look into it. Mom, it's only an yes, ad. So what? I should try it anyway. What if it helps me? What you need is a more positive outlook, not drugs. You have more drugs than a drugstore, Mom. I know what you're getting at. I don't need to celebrate my birthday. I don't want any guests. What guests, Mom? It will just be me with Lena and Toma and her husband. We'll sit for a bit, have some tea, and then we're off. I told you I don't want to see anyone. I just don't. Leave me alone. You're beginning to give me a headache. Here's the pie. Mm. Made from my mother's recipe. <laughs> Here you go. Yulia cooks for me like a restaurant chef. <laughs> I've liked cooking ever since I was a child. Here you go. Enjoy. Let's give it a try. Well? Mmm. I don't remember the last time I had pie this delicious. Look at him eating his head off. Doesn't Lena feed you at home? She does. It's just that pies aren't Lena's strong suit. Really? It would be better to say that cooking in general isn't Lena's strong suit. Mom. <laughs> Do you see how much he loves it? Wrap up a couple of slices for this starving man to take home with him. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Pasha, are you home? I'm here. You're early today. I went to mom's to talk about her birthday. Yeah, and? No dice. I told you. Just leave your mother alone, okay? Especially since she hasn't been feeling well lately. Perhaps you could convince her. Give her a call. You're a psychologist. Maybe you can. Why should we force her if she doesn't want to celebrate? Have pity on your mom. Oh, where did you get the pie? No, oh, Yulia made it. It's delicious, taste it. Mm. Mm. I bought us some fried trout. I'm already full, thanks. It's too greasy. Well, Mom and I liked it. Hello? Yes, Yulia, what's the matter? Oh, really? Wow, you're such a genius. So how did you manage it? Mm-hmm. Since you came, I haven't worried about Mom in such a long time. Thank you very much. All right, we'll talk tomorrow. Yulia was able to persuade Mom to celebrate her birthday. Good evening, Mr. Oleg. Of course, I can, no problem. That girl can do anything. Attention, everyone! Surprise! What do you think? How do I look? I hope I'm not overdressed or ugly. Oh, Mom, what are you talking about? You look amazing. You look like Sophia oh. Loren. <laughs> oh, son. <laughs> you look gorgeous tonight, Ala. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, dear, how happy I am to see you all. <laughs> oh. Let's have some champagne.
To tell you the truth, I didn't want any kind of celebration, but Yulia and Pavel insisted. And they were right. Ala, I wish you good health and happiness. Happy birthday. Thank you. Here's to you. Thank you. You look wonderful tonight. I hardly recognized you in that dress, just like Cinderella at the Royal Ball. Thank you. I loved that story when I was a little girl. They even called me Cinderella. Actually, I've already decided. This coming summer, I'm going on a tour of the Volga River. Blos, Yaroslavl, Mishkin. Those were the places of my youth. I like your optimism, just like how you used to be. <laughs> you don't have to do that. Yulia will tidy up and wash everything. I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to bother you. He just wanted to help me with the cake. I just want to remind you about one thing, Yulia. That you're only a servant here. Now go and clean the table! I am a nurse, not a servant. And don't give me orders. I only have Pavel and Ala to answer to, not you. Happy birthday to our dear Ala Nikolavna. We had such a wonderful time. And to think you didn't want to celebrate. Everybody loves you so much. Hey, Madame Alla. Madame Alla. Is there something wrong? I don't feel so good. My chest, I can't breathe. Okay, hold on. Don't worry, I'll give you a shot. It was right of us to persuade Mom. She was very happy tonight. And you were against it at first. I'm not in the mood. How do you feel? Thanks to you, I'm feeling better already. It's a good thing I managed to give you the shot in time. Yes. I was lucky. I think it was all because of the party. I guess it was too much for me. Please don't tell Pavel about what happened to me earlier. He would be very upset. <laughs> what is it? Are you upset about something? But I thought everything went great. Of course. Especially the way you and Yulia looked at each other. Staring like two smitten school children. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? I don't understand what you're talking about. Yulia is very close to my mother and I'm grateful to her for everything she's been doing for her. Well, I think that your precious Yulia, she thinks too highly of herself. 
You and your mom pandered to her every whim. Lena, you know jealousy is a very dangerous emotion. Yeah, we'll see. My intuition hasn't failed me yet. So, how do you like Moscow? It's awesome, right? There's so much fun here. It's great. But honestly, we're strangers at this feast of life. Why strangers? What's your job here, Taras? An electrician, from the housing office, slightly better than a street cleaner. And I'm the nurse who pampers a capricious old lady all day long. We only came here to work, second-class people. Why would you think that? Why wouldn't I? At the party, everyone was so polite, but they still looked at me. As if I were a servant. How am I worse than that Lena? I'm sure you're a hundred times better. Stop that. She's not from Moscow either. I found out. Why does she have everything when I have nothing? Just wait. Perhaps you'll have your chance. Mm-hmm. You can spend your whole life waiting and still get nowhere. You need to act, Taras. You could have at least bought a girl some flowers. What a gentleman. Goodbye. Goodbye. How do you like the lamp, dear? Is that the one Lena gave you for your birthday? Yes. It's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> Let's display it here for a while. It looks nice. Lena will be happy to see it here. Could you put the bulb on the lamp, please? Of course. Madam Allah, I need to talk to you about something. Why, dear? Is something wrong? I received a call from the hospital. My father had a heart attack. <gasps> oh, my lord. Can I visit him for a couple of days? Why, of course. You don't even have to ask, dear. Just come back after a couple of days, all right? I don't know what I'd do without you. I'll come back. But you should have someone with you in case something happens again. Yes, I know. But what can I do? Perhaps you could ask Lena. Won't she be able to take a couple days off from work to look after you? Yes, right. I could ask them. But no, I won't bother Pavel with this. He's up to his neck in his work in the office. No, not him. Lena, on the other hand, she could. The cord's too short. Oh! Oh, oh my dear. Oh. oh, I'm so clumsy. I broke such a beautiful thing. I'm terribly sorry. Lena will probably think I did it on purpose. But I didn't, honest. Don't worry, dear. I'm going to tell her you didn't. She won't believe it. She doesn't like me. I don't know why, but she doesn't. I just feel it. All right, I know what to do. I'm going to tell her that I broke it myself. She'll believe me. I'll say it was an accident. Thank you so much, madam. You are so kind. You're the best. You're like a mother to me. Oh, <laughs> don't cry, dear. It will all work out, so calm down. Sorry for telling you all my troubles. Bottom of my heart, like you asked. Merci. Your generosity borders on recklessness. I know how to romance a girl. <laughs> Shall we go? My car's over there. What did you say to the old lady? That my father is sick. He's in the hospital and I need to visit him. For how long? A couple of days. Wow. You're such a caring daughter. <laughs> <laughs> 
you have any champagne? We'll buy some, no problem. <laughs> Get ready to party, Yulia. Hey, Lena. What? Can you stay with Mother for a couple of days until Yulia comes back? I wish I could do it, but I'm swamped in the office. I have a job too, you know. And this article here is long overdue. It's just for a couple of days. And besides Pavel, I'm not quite sure that Ala would enjoy my company. She was the one who asked me. She was too shy to ask you herself. All right. If she's asking, then I'll do it. Thank you, honey. I appreciate that you're helping me out. Just keep calm, Lena. Just keep calm. Thank you, Yulia, dear. Oh, uh, sorry, Lena. I'm just not used to having you here in the apartment. It's all right. Anyway, Ala, what happened to the lamb? How did it break? I'm so sorry about that, Lena. It was all my fault. My hands are weak and I dropped it. Don't be mad. You didn't like it? No, dear, quite the opposite. You can't imagine how upset I was when it broke. Is that why you left the broken pieces in the kitchen? To make sure I would see them? Oh, what are you talking about? Of course not. Oh. Why did you put too much butter on the bread? This is pure cholesterol. This one's the same. What a waste. No, I'm not going to eat it. All right, I'll make some more. In the olden days, the winter weather forecast was based on superstitious beliefs. This forecast mostly based on the idea that the weather on the 12 days following the feast day of St. Spiridon shows us what the weather will be like in the coming months. Before weather services started using advanced satellite imagery... Oh, ouch! Oh, Lena, what are you doing? You're hurting me. You're tearing out what's left of my hair. Could you be more careful? Ugh. I'm not your hairdresser. Neither your servant nor your nurse. I'm the wife of your son. What's the matter, Lena? I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. Oh. Oh. Lena? Lena, would you give me one of my pills? What is it, Ala? What's wrong? Give me the pill for my chest pains. Okay, just a moment. <sighs> is everything going according to plan? It is, Mr. Oleg. Some minor problems, but I'll deal with them. Uh-huh. Excuse me. Hello. Okay, I'm on my way. That was Lena. Mom's not feeling well. I have to go. Do you need any help? No, thank you. Is the letter ready? Yes, sir. Here you go. Thank you. <sighs> thank you, doctor. Will she be all right? Oh, yes. It was just a minor stress. Most likely because of her nerves. All she needs is a more relaxing environment. 
Just don't forget to monitor her heart rate and her blood pressure. Goodbye, sir. Thank you. What did the doctor say? He told me not to leave a sick woman with you. You nearly caused her a heart attack. Did you know that? That's not true. I asked you to look after my mother for two days, Lena. And this is what happens. I'm going to stay with her until Yulia comes back. Just go home. So glad you're back, Yulia. We've been helpless without you. Well, I must say I've missed you too. Anyway, you look great. It's like you've come back from vacation. I was at home. It must be the fresh air. I was waiting for you, and then I fell asleep. <sighs> you know what, Yulia? You wouldn't believe what happened to me while you were away, my dear. I nearly died. How's your father doing? He's still in the hospital. I'm afraid he isn't getting any better. And my stepmother said he won't be leaving anything to me in his will. She won't let me go home anymore. Good Lord, I'm so sorry to hear that, dear. But then again... During times like these, just believe that God tests us for a reason. He will surely reward you, you'll see. Then you'll be happy. Be patient, this too shall pass. We forgot to buy water. Don't worry, we'll buy some tomorrow. Uh, Yulia, Mom and I already talked about your situation. We thought it over and she and I decided to give you a raise. You shouldn't have. <laughs> That's not the reason why I told Madame Alla about it. I simply told her, Because I was sad. And because she's like family to me. Well, you're... important to us too. And people close to each other should help one another.
thank you. You're so kind to me. Please don't, Pavel. Madam Allah's waiting. Yulia, I need to discuss something with Allah. Could you leave us alone for a moment? Who is that out there, Yulinka? Allah, it's me, Lena. <laughs> Hello there, Allah. I'm sorry I didn't call you before coming here. It's all right, come in. For you, some flowers. Why, thank you, dear. These are my favorite flowers, thank you. I came here to apologize to you, Allah. Hmm. I know I was wrong. Would you forgive me? Madam Allah, are you all right? I was afraid that you would get into a fight with Lena and have another attack. No, no, quite the opposite, my dear. Lena and I had a great time. Well, thank God. And you know what? Lena also told me that she's been consulting an amazing doctor who told her that it's highly possible she will soon get pregnant. Really? Interesting. All right, it's time for me to give you your medicine. feel so well, dear. I think I'm dying. Please call an ambulance. Okay, hold on. I'm going to call, madam. You... Link...
Pavel. Hmm. Pavel. Just got back. So how's my mom doing? She's fine. You made up with her? Yeah. <laughs> we talked for about two hours. We even cried a bit. She'll be waiting for us to visit her this weekend. <laughs> Hello? Yes, Yulia. What? How? I don't understand. Hello? Hello? What happened? My mom's dead. When I came back, Madame Ahla wasn't feeling well already. <laughs> I gave her a pill, but... But she was only getting... getting worse. <laughs> so I... I called an ambulance. But... but... But while it was on the way... <laughs> Madam Allen died. <laughs> I managed to save her once, but... But this time, her heart couldn't take it. But I don't understand. How come she wasn't feeling well? When I asked her... <laughs> she said she and your wife had a fight again. I'm so sorry. That is not true. We had a good conversation. Before I left, Alla was all right. I don't know. I don't know, but that's what she told me. Pavel, don't believe her. She's lying. Yulia, leave us, please. Why would Yulia lie and say that about you? I have no idea, but she's lying. No, I don't think she is, Lena. <laughs> I think I know what happened. Then tell me. I will gladly listen. You hounded mom until she suffered another attack, just like the first time. You just don't want to admit it, am I right? Don't be <laughs> silent! Tell me, am I right? I'm right. the day I saw her for the last time. I was in such a hurry that I forgot to give her a kiss before I left. Pavel, you're the best son a mother could ever have. I saw how you did everything for Allah. Thank you. My mother loved you very much. I loved her too.
Pavel, don't be silent. I'm begging you. How's dinner? It's okay. So what do you want me to cook tomorrow? I can make you the char grilled chicken that you like. By the way, Pavel, someone I know asked me whether we want to rent out Allah's apartment. We? Oui. All right, you. No. I don't want strangers living in my mother's apartment. Okay, that's your call. But I also think that Yulia... ...should have moved out long ago. Don't you think so? I will deal with her myself. Pavel, I understand that this is a hard time for you. I share your grief. But what can I do? How can I help you with the pain? Tell me, please. Nothing. Thank you for dinner. This is one hell of an apartment. I wish it was mine. <laughs> well, that all depends on you, Taras. Or rather, on us. Pasha's about to give in. Then this will all be ours. It's Pavel. Damn it. Should I hide in the closet? No, stay here. Calm down. Okay, now sit on the sofa. I forgot my watch yesterday. Have you seen it? No. Hello. Hello? Pavel, a cousin of mine came to visit. <laughs> Taras, this is Pavel. Hello. Pavel is the son of Madame Allah, and he's a friend of mine. Taras came here to Moscow for work. Mm. He's a utility man and electrician. He's very good with his hands. I'm sorry for coming here. I was about to leave. Call me when you get to the house. Say hi to Aunt Valia for me. How's Yulia's father doing? Is he out of the hospital? Yeah, he's recovering. I think. Well, I'm off. Goodbye, cousin. Goodbye. Goodbye. We better look for the watch. <laughs> this one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You'll take the watch and leave just like that? You won't even kiss me? Tonight, darling. I still have a pile of work to finish. I barely managed to get out for half an hour. Why didn't you tell me anything about your cousin? What's there to tell? You've seen him yourself. A real hick and nothing else. To be honest, I'm ashamed of him. 
I hope he won't move to Moscow. I've missed you so much. I said I'll come back in the evening. You'll stay for only three hours and then leave again. You promised me you'll talk to your wife. I'll talk to her. Maybe today. I still have to think it over. What do you still have to think over? Don't you remember what that woman did to your mother? All right, give me the watch. Try and take it. Yulia, come on. I'll be late for work. Then let's do it quick. I've missed you so much. See you soon. Goodbye. Find me Pavel right now. Yes, sir. Where is he wandering off to during work hours? God damn it. Lena, we need to have a serious discussion. I also have important news for you. What is it? I'm pregnant. What? I didn't believe at first either. Even the professor was surprised he wasn't expecting it to be this quick. So, what did you want to tell me? It's nothing. That's about work. Congratulate me, Daras. Pavel's coming around. He promised to talk to his wife this evening. Then congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> I never doubted you one bit. Maybe we should celebrate. Not too fast. Let him divorce her first. Then he'll marry me and put this apartment under my name. That's when we celebrate. You'll leave me, right? <laughs> Are you worried about that? Look, I don't like Pavel as a man at all. You, on the other hand, satisfy me. But you better cut down on the beer. You're gonna get a belly. When did you find out? Early today. How far along? Two months. And you don't know the sex of the baby yet? No. So what do we do? Tell me. Nothing. We wait. Lena. What? Did you really make up with Mother that day? How could you believe Yulia? You know what? I should find myself some old lady with an apartment and marry her, right? <laughs> that would be awesome. Nah. Don't you feel sorry for Pavel's wife? No. Because in this life, Taras, it's every man for himself. What a beautiful baby boy. Or a baby girl, maybe. No, this is going to be a boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll find out in a couple of months. 
Why, Doctor? Is there anything out of the ordinary? No, everything's fine. Now, don't think about negative things. Always try to be in a good mood. And as her husband, you would have to help her. You would need to provide your wife with comfort and peace of mind. Why are you late, Pavel? Did something come up? Yes. We shouldn't see each other anymore. But why? Then is expecting a baby. Are you sure? We went to the doctor. I can't leave my wife, Yulia. What about me? I love you, Pavel. What am I supposed to do? It's just going to be complicated. I'm sorry. Listen, I can help you with money. I can help you find a job. This isn't happening. You can't leave me, Pavel, because you don't love her. I must because I can't leave the mother of my child. What if there is no child? No, there is. Sorry, but I have to go. Message me when you're going to leave. <laughs> that bastard! Isn't it harmful? What is? Sitting in front of the computer. It emits radiation. I can't seem to finish this article. You know what? Why don't you quit your job? Why do you need the extra stress? I can support us without your income. All right. It's a deal. I'm going to leave my job tomorrow. And I'll turn into a... Domestic hen! <laughs> 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 Valia. It's good to see you again, Yulia. 
Taras is so good looking. Let me ask you something. Are you hard working? I hope you don't drink too much. No. So are you going to get married soon? Or are you just fooling around? We have plans. All right then. Make yourself at home, dear. I have to do errands for the old lady, and I'll ask her on for a job for you. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Take care, aunt. You too. <sighs> well, this is no minister's palace. I can still get back into that palace. Really? How? With your help. Excuse me? In fact, I'm even willing to pay you. To do what? The only thing keeping Pavel with Lena is that child. If there's no child, there's no Lena. You understand? What do you say? Are you ready to help me? Hmm? Well, all right. Just tell me exactly what I have to do. <laughs> Nothing too complicated. <laughs> I've already planned everything. <laughs> Pavel, it's not a problem for me to come and open the door. I don't know. They called from the housing office and said that they urgently require access for the electrician. I can handle it. I'll call you when it's done. Bye. Are you Madame Lena? <gasps> yes, it's me. I called you earlier. Yes, it's nice to meet you. What happened? One of your neighbors had a severe leak. We have to make sure there's no flooding in your place. I need to check the wires. There could be a short circuit and that could lead to a fire. Please check everything thoroughly, since nobody's living in the apartment at the moment. You can count on me, ma'am. <sighs> Let's go. Check the wiring. Everything's fine. Mm -hmm. Have you checked the bathroom to make sure there's no leak? Mm, no, I haven't. Well, did you do everything I said? Yeah, I put it in her tea. Why? Listen to me. This is serious. I'm not joking. Did you put in two pills? Only one. The second one fell. What do you mean it fell? It rolled off somewhere, Yulia. I was really nervous. You idiot! That dose was specifically calculated! Look, if this doesn't work, we can always try again. You're such a moron! Yulia! Just go home! Where's my money? You'll get the money when you bring results. Get out of here! What is wrong with men these days? They're all scumbags. What's her condition, Doctor? There's no threat to your wife's life. She'll regain consciousness soon. And the baby? We still don't know. I can't say yet how your wife's condition has affected the fetus. We need to wait a little. I hope it turns out all right. We've been waiting for this child for so long. I'm begging you to do everything you can. 
I'll make it worth your while. You don't have to. It's our job. One more thing. What happened to my wife? Why did she get ill so suddenly? Sudden drop in blood pressure. Sometimes that happens during pregnancy. Can I see her? Not yet. Please stay here. Hello, Pavel. It's Yulia. Yes. Listen, I'm applying for a new job and I need recommendations. Will you give me one? Yes, of course. That's great. Where should we meet? The courtyard at Mom's building. Outside? Yes. Well, that's a bit impersonal. Are you afraid of me or what? Oh, all right then. Seven o'clock at my mother's apartment. Thank you. See you, Pavel. Here you go. They'll admit you into the Kremlin with a recommendation like this. I don't want to go to the Kremlin. Come on, why do you look so gloomy? Is something the matter? I'm sorry, but I don't have much time. You don't know how much I miss you. You were cruel to me, but I still love you, Pavel. Julia, I believe you've already dealt with that issue. Is there something else I can help you with? Hello? Everything's fine? I mean, did you manage to save the baby? Thank you so much. You can't even imagine what this means to Lena and me. When will they discharge her? That soon? Uh, of course, I'm coming. See you. What was that about? Did you win the lottery? More than that, Yulia. One day you'll win too. You'll eventually find a nice guy and the two of you will love each other forever. <laughs> I don't need anyone but you, Pavel, darling. <sighs> Pavel, I love you. That's enough. That's enough, Yulia. Stop it! Leave me alone! You're such a bastard! You used me and now you're throwing me away! <laughs> I believed you, Pavel. You shouldn't have done that to me. You don't know what I can do. It didn't work, Taras. Why is that? Because you're so incompetent, that's why. You're only good at one thing. Oh, you want money? Mm-hmm. You'll get some, but not for doing a crummy job. I've got another idea. Let's meet tomorrow, I'll tell you about it. No way, I won't do it. If they catch me, I'll end up in jail. No one is going to catch you. No, Yulia, I'm scared. Taras. Look, no one will notice anything. I've planned it all the way. 
It will go smoothly. Do you want me to buy you a new set of wheels? What kind of car, hmm? You don't have any money. <laughs> Listen to me, that's not your problem. I'll borrow it. Or take out a loan. You help me. And I will help you. You will have everything you want. A car. Money. A flat in Moscow. I'm willing to do anything to get what I want. And I won't let anything stand in my way. Are you in? Hmm? Okay, I'm in. But I need cash in advance. All right, Taras. Hmm? 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 Hello? Lena? Hello? It's me, Yulia. Lena, I'm really sorry. I still hope you can forgive me. I'm begging you. Madame Ala had a blackout before she died. She said bad things about you, and I believed her. I'm such a naive country girl. I can't live without your forgiveness. Calm down, Yulia, please. <laughs> That's enough. Please stop crying. <laughs> it's all water under the bridge. All right. Thank you. How are you feeling? Everything's fine, thank God. They're letting me out today. That's great to hear. Anyway, I have this book. For pregnant women. I'll give it to you as a present. <laughs> Why don't we meet tomorrow? At the park. We can agree on a time later. Can I call you back? Of course. <laughs> See you tomorrow. <laughs> Take care, Lena. Hello? Hello? Are you ready? Yes, if you only knew how much I miss home. I'm sorry I didn't have time to clean up. Never mind, Pavel. I'll do it myself. Oh, come on. I was thinking of hiring someone. Actually, I know someone we could hire. Who? Yulia. Yulia? Why Yulia? I just got a call from her. She asked for my forgiveness. If you heard how she cried, you'll feel sorry for her too, Pavel. And you forgave her, of course. Of course I did. Guess I was mistaken about her. Hello, Hello, Pavel. <laughs> Come in. Here, would you please give this to Yulia for him? She left it at Mom's apartment. Oh, so you have it? Yulia was so worried about it. These earrings are her favorite. Thank you, Pavel. No problem. Would you like to stay and have some tea? Yulia's coming back soon. She went out shopping with Taras. No, thank you, ma'am. I have to get back home. Say hello to your son for me. What son? Taras. Oh, no, Taras is not my son. What are you saying, ma'am? Yulia told me that Taras was her cousin. No, no, you must be mistaken. Yulia has no cousins. Taras is her boyfriend. He's an electrician in the housing office near your mother's house. God rest her soul. 
Well, all right, I was probably mistaken about the whole thing. Anyway, I have to go. Thank you. Goodbye, Valia. We'll have some tea next time. Have a good night. All right. Goodbye. Take care. Lena, do you remember what the electrician looked like? The one who went to Mom's apartment with you. Mm, he was a young guy. A bit stocky. Not that tall. When did you start to feel unwell? When he was there? No. About ten minutes after he left. I remember I was just about to leave. Have you had something at Mother's apartment <sighs> before that? A cup of tea? Pavel, why are you asking me all these questions? I just want to understand what happened to you, Lena, so we could prevent it from happening again. Pavel, it wasn't the tea that made me ill. It's because my blood pressure dropped. That's what the doctor said. That's right. Our doctor knows what he's doing. What are you reading? So you're saying that there was no water leaking from our neighbor, and you didn't send an electrician to our apartment? Okay, thanks. Hi, darling. What are you up to? I went for a walk in the park near the house. That's right. You need fresh air. By the way, has Yulia called you again recently? She did. I'm waiting for her right now. She wanted to give me something. A book about pregnancy. Hello? Pavel? You're breaking up. Hello? Hello? The number you have dialed is currently unavailable. Please call back later. Hey, Pavel, where are you going? I need to go now. It's a family emergency. Are you crazy? Our investor is waiting for the report and you're heading off somewhere again? I'm sorry, Mr. Oleg. Lena! Hello. Hello. Here's the book. A midwife gave it to me. She spent 30 years working in a hospital. So she knows more about pregnancy than any professor. <laughs> Thank you for this. I will definitely read it. Would you like to come in? Let's have some tea. Yes, I would love that. <laughs> That's great. I'm going to call Pavel. I'm going to ask him to get us cake. Why don't I buy us the cake instead? <laughs> I'll go to the pastry shop right See now, you. okay? So, where did you come from? I'll tell you later. What's the matter? Uh, my leg. Told her no. What are you talking about? I won't do it. What did she say? And she said, I've planned it. Everything will be fine. 
What did you say? I said I was afraid. After that? And she was like, I'll buy you a new car. I would have everything, money, a car, a flat in Moscow. She said that she would stop at nothing to get what she wants. Come on, Yulia planned all of this. It's all her fault. But still, why did you do it? She manipulated me like a fool, and I agreed. Last name. Whose? The girls. Vorsova. Vorsova Yulia Semyonova. <sighs> Address? You're an extraordinary woman, Monsieur Le Semyonova. I haven't met anyone like you. Well, that's your problem, sir. Yeah, perhaps. I've learned a lot about you. You've led quite a colorful life. You have affected me so much that I even went to your village to talk to your relatives. There were so many stories, it was very difficult to keep track. You can't even imagine what those evil, soulless people said about you. Like what? That no one sent you away from the house. That it was you who brought shame on your own family. I expected that country folks never liked me. Never? How come? Because I'm not like those people. I can only imagine those things they said about me. The truth. How you plotted to seduce the chief doctor at that hospital. How you made the father of two abandon his family. How you gave him a heart attack and then ran away with his money and vanished without a trace. I had to buy a ticket. That would bring me all the way to Moscow. Do you understand? How can I not? Do you remember the story of Cinderella? Of course, everyone knows that. I am like Cinderella. I'm looking for my prince. But all the princes I meet turn out to be good for nothing rascals and scumbags. But you're not one of them, right? You won't deceive me, will you? At the stroke of 12 midnight, the magic spell will be broken. <sighs> I'm not a prince, Miss Yulia. And I've long since stopped believing in fairy tales. So how's the leg? Does it hurt? You bet. Poor little Pavel. Let's check your temperature. The doctor says you'll be out by the end of the week. What about his leg? You'll continue the treatment at home. When will they take the cast off? The surgeon will tell you, but I guess you're going to spend a couple of weeks like this, so I suggest you hire a caregiver for your husband. <laughs> Thank you for that sound advice. But I won't ever let another private nurse near my husband. As you wish. I'll be looking after you on my own. <laughs> 
Would you help me out, please? Ah! Mmm. <gasps> you know, you're the best wife in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs>